Welcome back slide roll fans. I'm back here with the System Warren AVC slide roll for part two of this series of videos. Again, part three is going to be an interview with Carl Warren, so please post in the comments questions you might want me to ask him. I'll pick my favorite ones and uh, we're going to see if we can get Carl on. Uh, now, I'm going to do a few more calculations. Uh, I showed you how to do the basic AVC calculations in the first video. I'm going to do a little bit more. Uh, remember that I Think of this, this slide roll as broken into three parts, the ABCD part, uh, the trig part, uh, and kind of the standard slide roll part. Uh, so if you're familiar with slide rolls, uh, circular slide rolls, I don't need to show you too much of the standard part, but I'm going to run through a few calculations, uh, make some more comments on the slide roll, then maybe, maybe we can make a conclusion. Would we have bought this slide roll um, back in uh, 1966 or, or the late 60s? Uh, let's see if we can do that. All right, so. First, let's do a combined operation using the uh, the system Warren scales, the ABC scales. Um, so you can do proportion calculations, and therefore you can do a, a, a multiply divide or a <clears throat> double divide, double multiply operation with one setting. And let me just show you a simple <clears throat> um, operation like this. Uh, those familiar with the regular slide rule will be familiar with this kind of operation. Uh, so the first thing I want to find is a 74. I'm going to find that on the capital A scale. Since I'm using the, the Warren scales, I'm going to get a readout of the decimal point. So I found that 74 there. Then the first thing I'm going to, the next thing I'll do is I'll find the C as if I'm going to divide. Um, sorry, on the C scale, I'll find the 950 as if I'm going to divide. Bring that under. And let's see. Uh, Now, what I'm going to do next is find the 32 actually also on the C scale, even though that's a multiplying. Uh, those familiar with regular slide rule use know why I'm doing this. Um, you can see my videos on doing combined operations on a regular slide rule. Okay. When I do that, um, I get result uh, about uh, 2.4 plus a little, let's just say 2.4. Now, uh, the decimal point readout is accurate. Uh, but it's hard for me to read kind of anything anything like a third decimal place there um, besides a 2.4. It looks like a little bit more, so maybe 2.41 or 2, something like that. Um, okay, so you can do standard uh, double multiplication, double division, uh, multiplication and division uh, using the ABC scales uh, as you would on a normal slide roll. Um, of course, you got to uh, deal with the change of the letter scheme. Uh, okay. If you're not familiar with a regular slide rule, though, uh, you learn on the system Warren slide rule, then uh, you don't have that problem of kind of converting the letters in your head that I do. Um, okay, let's do some examples on the trig scales. Uh, now, the outermost scale here uh, reads in degrees. Uh, the complements are also marked on there. Uh, so let's find 35 degrees. Okay, there it is. Uh, and bring the indicator around. Actually, what you can what you can do for the simple reading is simply use uh, the index, or actually, I take that back when we need to use this. This becomes a little bit awkward. See, uh, this hairline doesn't reach all the way out there to the 35, so I have to use uh, the cursor, but I have to move the uh, sine tangent window around in order to be able to read that, and I've kind of got to kind of keep the other hairline out of the way here. Uh, so I'm reading sine, uh, I have to read down here on the sine scale, also marked S, about 0.5, 0.3. 0.5, it looks like 0.572. That's actually pretty good precision. Um, nice resolution there. Uh, again, these are non-logarithmic scales, so you can't use that in a combined operation with the other scales then. Okay, let's do a tangent, so I'll find 65 degrees. Okay, do the same thing. Uh, pull that over there, and now move the sine tangent window around. Uh, so let's see. The interesting thing is sine, uh, sorry, tangent of 65 degrees we know is over 1. And you can see here it looks like 2, 2.15. That's a nice feature of this slide rule, is it reads tangents over 45 degrees. Um, in fact, it reads tangents up to 10 uh, directly. Um, to do an arc tangent, let's do that. Uh, so to do arc tangent, I'm going to find the point 0.4 on the tan window. Let's see. 
Again, I have to bring the window around, then kind of keep that hairline out of the way so I can use the cursor hairline. Okay, the interesting thing you could do on the slide rule is uh, right beneath the degree window, it has a radian window, so I could read result here in radians. Looks like 0 0.3567, 0 0.38. Let's put rads there. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, I can read uh, sines and tangents, arc sines, arc tangents, uh, using radians or degrees just as easily from 0 to 90 degrees. Okay, let's, talk, let's uh, look at the regular slide rule part for a little bit. Again, these are mostly the inner scales. Uh, marked little a, little b, little c, ll, uh, r, and p. And these, uh, these scales are essentially d, c, i, c, uh, log, log scale, except uh, the log, log scale is, spiral is reversed from what you might expect, uh, k, and an a scale. So I'll just do a couple calculations. Um, you can see my other slide rule videos for how to, uh, to deal with those scales in general. Uh, so 5.5 square, uh, I can find the 5.5, this can be done with just... Uh, this hairline. 5.5, uh, although I guess I'll bring this one along for reference. I'm going to find the 5.5 on the A scale. Uh, see here? Yeah. Then I'm going to read the square on the P scale. Looks like uh, there's 30, 31, uh, looks like 30.3. Again, the, uh, the, the length of these scales is about, uh, about that of a typical 10-inch uh, slide rule, uh, with the exception of the log-log scale. Um, okay, to read a square root, I need to do that in reverse. Now, uh, here you see kind of the, the Warren system break down a little bit. Uh, to take square root of 230, uh, you might be tempted uh, to use a 23. Right, but we know from our use of regular slide rules that uh, on the A scale I should use 2.3 for square root of 230, not 23. Uh, and this is essentially a regular A scale. So again, it doesn't locate the decimal point for you and you need to treat it as if you're using a regular slide rule or, or I guess more precisely a regular circular slide rule. Okay, so I should, I should on the, uh, the P scale here, which is essentially an A scale, find 2.3. Let's see. Two point three. Uh, then I can read on the A scale the result. Um, let's see here. Looks like one five uh, one five seven. And I do have to place a decimal point on that myself. Uh, Fifteen point seven. Okay. Uh, that's a little off from what I wrote down. One five. Oh, sorry, one seven, one five, one seven there. Okay, and again, that's about the the resolution of a, a regular ten inch slide roll when using those scales like that. Okay, let's use the log log spiral. Um, I, I'm not going to calculate them, but you can do right combined operations uh, as you would do on a regular circular slide roll with the square and cube scales uh, and the full length scales uh, also. Um, let's use the uh, the log log spiral. So let's find the two on the log log spiral. Uh, here. Okay. Now, I'm finding that first with the cursor hairline. Uh, now, to compute a power, I'm going to find the power using the C scale. If I wanted a root, I would use the B scale. Um, and again, uh, that's a reverse what you would expect from a regular slide, but you got to remember that the log log scale is uh, reversed. Okay. Uh, so we want a computer power, so let's use a little C scale and bring the 8.5 on the little C scale uh, there. Then uh, you can see on this hairline, uh, you can read the result. I'm going to actually move this one out of the way. Looks like 360 and a hair, so let's read three, 365 somewhere in there. Again, uh, because the scales are so short, um, it's a little little hard to read that last one. The nice thing about this log-log scale is that the range, if you can believe it, uh, the range here, have a look, is from 1.001 to 10 to the 40. Um, so you can start to see why you might buy this slide roll. 
Uh, you might buy this slide roll if uh, precision is less of a concern uh, than getting the order of magnitude correct. Um, you have a you know a low precision log log scale, uh, but which gives you a large range that you can use um, and directly read out uh, order of magnitude up to 10 to the 40, which I think is uh, farther out than the picket. Um, even the Picket N4 and the, the Picket series of base 10 log low scale uses. Um, it also reads all the way down to 1.001. Uh, past that, closer to 1, you can use the, um, the A scale uh, as a D scale for that approximation. Now, why might you have bought the system Warren slide roll in uh, the late 60s when it was available? Um, I think it's mainly because you are less concerned with uh, precision of your result. Uh, you only needed, you know, one, two decimal places, uh, but you were very concerned without, with making the, the standard slide roll mistake uh, of getting the order of magnitude wrong. Um, you were uncomfortable estimating that. Um, you just, I don't know, called yourself, uh, you know, not a number person or something. Uh, you just really weren't good at estimating in your head. Uh, in the way that you need to uh, to use a regular slide roll, uh, but you wanted to do conversions, multiplication, division, you wanted to use a mechanical calculator. Um, of course, you didn't want to buy something expensive. Uh, you might want occasional use of the trigonometric, trigonometric scales, uh, the log-log scale, uh, but really what you wanted to do was multiplication, division, maybe unit conversions, uh, and not worry about messing up your decimal point um, I think that's probably why you bought this slide roll. Um, it does have facilities for, to make up for that. You can always redo a calculation uh, that you've done on the ABC scales, on the little ABC scales, uh, to read that extra precision. So you could do a calculation twice, one on the, the, the capital ABC scale to get the order of magnitude and rough answer, and then you could do it again on the little ABC scale if you wanted to recover the precision uh, that you would get uh, using a regular 10-inch slide roll. Oh, that's possible. Um, but I think for most engineers, um, they probably probably would have preferred just to just give me the regular 10 inch slide roll. Um, I'll do that calculation once, I'll have the high precision. Okay, occasionally I'll make a mistake on the decimal point. Um, you know, another downside of the slide roll is it's not exactly portable. Um, it does have this nice sleeve. Uh, would fit into a briefcase, uh, you know, if you had a nice flat place to put it. Uh, but it's not as portable, say, as uh, as a pocket slide roll, uh, or even uh, kind of standard uh, standard um, pocket uh, circular slide roll. Um, so I think it it felt it it found a little place in the market which might have expanded uh, had not uh, pocket calculators come out. Uh, but I'm not sure it would have it would have found a big following in the engineering community. Um, but uh, feel free to disagree with me. Uh, leave a comment below, and remember that there's going to be a third video. Might be a few weeks from now uh, when I uh, interview Carl, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, what led up to the design, um, what he was thinking. Uh, we can ask him himself. Um, so if there are particular questions you would like to ask Carl, please leave a comment with those questions and I uh, will pick my favorite ones and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. Um, again, thank you to, uh, to Carl and Eric for, uh, for sending the slide roll, for uh, answering a couple of my questions about it already. Um, and thanks for watching.